much attention has been paid recently in the scientific circles and in the media circles with regards to a new medication that has uh, drawn uh, a lot of attention and at the same time a flurry of articles have actually uh, come across uh, in various scientific uh, journals about this medication and this was actually prompted by uh, the New England Journal of Medicine actually doing a, a landmark clinical study trial on this medication which is uh, semaglutide uh, and I am going to talk more about that but also at the same time this medication has been hailed as one of the landmarks and a breakthrough in uh, the medical weight loss management. Um, this was actually starting right after FDA has approved this medication for weight loss and adding to that furthermore as soon as this was uh, published in the New England Journal of Medicine in its March 2021 uh, series there was actually so much demand in the market that the drug could not catch up with the demand and supply. So what is this new medication and what we are going to talk about it, why is it so important uh, especially for clinicians like us this is very interesting and curious and we are actually watching this very closely about the clinical results in real time practice and I have been personally watching it myself. So as an obesity specialist myself and in clinical practice doing obesity medicine and also as a metabolic medicine specialist. This is of a lot of interest to me and many colleagues and peers like me who are practicing and seeing this uh, new novel medication that is creating ripples uh, and also uh, showing a lot of promising results. So let's talk about uh, the first about this article. This is published in New England Journal of Medicine and this is uh, dated March 18th, 2021 and I decided to talk about this uh, for various reasons, I will give you the background very soon. Uh, the title of this study is Once Weekly Semaglutide, I have written the name of the medication there, in adults with overweight or obesity. So what they did was they have taken this, uh, this study actually is uh, a double blind uh, randomized control study. Uh, with a placebo that means they have taken a few patients who have not received the drug uh, and then some patients who received the drug. So the medication is actually once a week subcutaneous injection and they, they took almost about close to 2000 patients um, about 1961 to be precise so 1961 total patients and out of the 1961 patients they divided the patients into two groups one that received the medication which is about in a 2 is to 1 ratio and one group did receive placebo and the placebo were so 2 is to 1 ratio was like almost 1200 patients to about 600 patients close to or maybe a little bit more 680 or something like that to 1206 1280 or something so in this 2 is to 1 ratio they have given the medication to this group and this is the placebo and what they try to look at is the giving this medication what is the amount of weight loss the patients have achieved and they define the success of the medication as at least 5% weight loss. Now 5% weight loss is clinically significant in any way you do but what they have also done in this study is they have combined lifestyle with the medication which means exercise and diet plus the medication because this is the design and the nature of this study is to see the effects of lifestyle and medication together and the study was done for 68 weeks and the medication was given once a week um, subcutaneously that is under the skin and they have titrated the dose slowly the injection slowly over a period of 16 weeks and they allowed this medication 
to be gradually adjusted to the uh, people who got the medication for to de decrease the side effects as well as they observed the uh, whole uh, period time period of results for about 68 weeks that means they almost waited for about a year which is 52 weeks beyond so one year study after they maximized on the maximum dose what was the maximum dose given was 2.4 milligrams they slowly increased it over a period of uh, six, 16 weeks every four weeks they increased the dose this medication if you already know is already used for uh, diabetes but the whole purpose of this trial and this landmark clinical study is to say that this medication how it is used for non-diabetic patients to lose weight so the enrolled people should have some criteria in this they have to be non-diabetic because it's exclusively studied for weight loss non-diabetic because th the observation that they found out when they treated diabetics was weight loss was a consequence so this study was specifically meant for people to uh, lose weight and was specifically selected only pre-diabetics or people who didn't have diabetes or they all wanted to have at least a body mass index of 30 or greater that means they have to be obese or it can be 27 or 28 that means they are overweight with one or two or three comorbid conditions which means associated risk factors not diabetes but like hypertension obstructive sleep apnea or um, things like dyslipidemia which is cholesterol issues and things like that so what were the results the results were amazing because uh, people who are in the semaglutide group the, this is the placebo group which people who got the semaglutide group the drug group had 15 percent average weight loss now when you say average that means about 50 percent of the people who found weight loss in this group at 15 percent now this is uh, remarkable because this doesn't usually happen with any weight loss medications that we often use in our practice and so far that's not been the experience because usually the weight loss medications that have been used so far have given uh, results of about uh, 7 to 8 percent maximum and with lifestyle 8 to 9 percent um, or if you just do lifestyle like diet and exercise um, which is intensive lifestyle intervention like as it was shown in uh, DPP diabetes prevention program there was a significant uh, improvement in the mortality of about 55 percent this is a large scale study that was done by Medicare and it showed that they lost about 7 to 8 percent so lifestyle is very powerful and this is also done only in conjunction with lifestyle remember the medication is given with lifestyle so now when they did that 15 percent was the result which no medication could ever do so that is very significant so why is this so important because for people like us who practice obesity medicine we are mostly looking at obesity as a, a condition which for um, improving cardiometabolic risk factors because these are very important because it's the health benefits the medical benefits that we look for it is not for a cosmetic reason nor for social appeal or anything even though patients would improve their self-esteem for those reasons which is fine but as an obesity specialist as in the medical field we are very interested in medical benefits of the patient so what they found was some of the people have had 15 percent which is about 50 percent of the patients and about six uh, 69 percent of the patients actually had 10 percent so the average is 15 69 percent had 10 percent weight loss and then the weight loss with uh, about 30 percent of the people had even more which is um, 20 percent weight loss this is percent weight loss now this is uh, groundbreaking because why we should be taking this very seriously is a 20 percent weight loss is usually almost touching where we start with the gastric bypass or sleeve gastrectomy or bariatric surgery kind of results so 
this is almost groundbreaking and very very curious uh, and exciting for uh, obesity specific like us because now we are probably almost going to be replacing uh, the gastric bypass uh, the way things are going in terms of how we manage uh, this increasing importance of these peptides which is a semaglutide there uh, how we can manage obesity without even going into gastric bypass down the line because there are new medications other than semaglutide that are also in the upcoming in the research and market that could replace almost without having to go through this uh, uh, even like gastric bypass. So a 20 percent weight loss is very significant usually gastric bypass or sleeve gastrectomy and those kind of surgeries which are very radical give a weight loss of almost about uh, you know from anywhere from 20 to 35 percent. Now that is one aspect of it. The other aspect is in this study they also looked at what are the results especially when it comes to medical benefits their hemoglobin A1C has improved, their blood pressure has improved significantly, inflammation which is very important has improved, waist size has improved and they also looked at what is called as uh, um, um, a quality of life indicators in terms of uh, function and that has improved significantly. So, this is uh, something which uh, excites a lot of us and uh, I think lifestyle is very important in terms of uh, medications, uh, in, in terms of uh, diet and exercise, but medication management is much more powerful because we could achieve moderate uh, amounts of weight loss with health benefits uh, just with diet and exercise, but if you want to uh, continue it to the higher level because larger weight loss gives larger medical benefits especially for conditions like cardiometabolic problems, chronic metabolic diseases and even fatty liver and other medical conditions which need a larger weight loss than just lifestyle interventions. The second part of it is with lifestyle interventions usually after some initial weight loss weight regain happens. So, weight maintenance can be sometimes difficult as we see in obesity practices because after some time weight regain happens because the biology is very powerful and uh, medications like this which are new in the market and which are coming and new more promising medications that are coming are actually going to be uh, more powerful and promising in terms of keeping that weight loss down for the basic goal of looking at preventing cardio metabolic risk factors and preventing the complications for all the health and medical benefits. Now, because there are lot of complications that you could see that I will be talking more and more about uh, this medication coming down the line. I, I want to give you a brief uh, background about why I am saying this because this is all about uh, uh, chronic medical disease management that we come across so much in our offices with obesity on the rise and uh, whether you take uh, cardiac disease, whether you take neurological diseases, whether you take chronic kidney diseases, cancers, diabetes, fatty liver, all these chronic metabolic conditions are related to uh, are because of the root cause being uh, and the driver being obesity. So, every 6 out of 10 Americans have at least one of these chronic conditions, 4 out of 10 uh, at least have two or more of these chronic conditions. Thus, this is a need of the hour for all of us to address to get even more larger amounts of weight loss than just six or seven percent to keep uh, our health well and to prevent these chronic complications. So, there is a very important place for this medication to be playing a role especially in certain amounts of population with lots of comorbid conditions who meet the criteria. So, in my next topic, I am going to be talking about this more in detail because this is a very important topic and I want to talk about something called gut feeling which you all know. Gut feeling is the, the, the hormones, the gut, everybody knows that the gut and the brain are connected, there is a feeling, there is a lot of nerves here and even for a clinical practice perspective the gut and brain connection that is very important and that is where this medication plays comes from from the gut this hormone which is called as a peptide which is only a small part of the hormone. So, that part I am going to play a role because that is where the whole technology and the medical management of obesity is going because this is where we realize that even when we did bariatric surgery these hormones are the ones 
that have been expressed more and that's why they lose weight it is not because of cutting the stomach it is because of these hormones playing their role in the brain so the gut brain connection how it affects what is this medication exactly and what kind of uh, people who have to be on this medication how does it work what is its efficacy what is its tolerability what are its side effects who are the right kind of medication uh, who are the right kind of people who can get this medication i'm going to talk about all these issues in the at least in at least next two or three episodes more about the semaglutide but uh, i just wanted to bring this landmark study trial as an introduction to this and talk more in detail and i'll be talking to you very soon about semaglutide in uh, more detail thank you so much